A U.S. track and field athlete and anti-racism activist turned her back from the American flag during a medal ceremony at the Olympic trials in Oregon on Saturday. Gwen Berry, who had finished third in the hammer throw, described the situation at the U.S. track and field trials as a setup. I feel like it was a setup, and they did it on purpose, Berry said. I was p, to be honest. Gwendolyn Berry, L, third place, turns away from U.S. flag during the U.S. national anthem as Deanna Price, C, first place, and Brooke Anderson, second place, also stand on the podium after the women's hammer throw final on day 9 of the 2020 U.S. Olympic track and field team trials at Hayward Field on June 26, 2021 in Eugene, Oregon. In 2019, the USOPC reprimanded Berry after her demonstration on the podium at the Lima Pan American Games. Patrick Smith Getty images during the playing of the anthem, which had been occurring once a day during the trials, Berry placed her hand on her hip, turned away and draped her t-shirt which read, activist athlete, over her head. My purpose and my mission is bigger than sports, Berry said. I'm here to represent those who died due to systemic racism. That's the important part. That's why I'm going. That's why I'm here today. Gwendolyn Berry, left, drapes her activist athlete t-shirt over her head as Deanna Price stands for the national anthem after the finals of the women's hammer throw at the U.S. Olympic track and field trials Saturday, June 26, in Eugene, Oregon. Price won and Berry finished third. Charlie Riedel, app, with her third place finish, Berry is set to compete at the Tokyo Olympics next month. USA track and field spokeswoman Susan Hazard said the national anthem was scheduled to play at 5.20 p.m. today. We didn't wait until the athletes were on the podium for the Hammer Throw Awards. The national anthem is played every day according to a previously published schedule. On Saturday, the music started at 5.25. Gwendolyn Berry her activist athlete t-shirt over her head during the medal ceremony after the finals of the Women's Hammer Throw at the US Olympic Track and Field Trials Saturday June 26, 2021, in Eugene, Oregon. Berry finished third. App photo, Charlie Riedel, Charlie Riedel, app, Berry did not seem to agree with that description of events. They said they were going to play it, before we walked out, then they played it when we were out there, Berry said. But I don't really want to talk about the anthem because that's not important. The anthem doesn't speak for me. It never has. Gwendolyn Berry, left, looks away as Deanna Price stands for the national anthem after the finals of the women's hammer throw at the US Olympic track and field trials Saturday June 26, in Eugene, Oregon. Price won and Berry finished third. Charlie Riedel, app, Deanna Price, the winner of the hammer throw, offered support to her Olympic teammate. I think people should say whatever they want to say.